So um, this truck over here, you can see it's pinned another vehicle into the back. Uh, this is the, the, the truck that caused the whole problem. And uh, there's, there's actually three vehicles stuck behind over there. And uh, there's some patients that are trapped inside the vehicles over there. Um, there is absolute carnage here. We're just before the Alberton turn-off. And um, if you look going forward, what happened was he obviously lost brakes or something like that. There's a car turned over there with somebody inside it. Uh, carnage on that side. Going through, um, you'll see the, the absolute destruction, trail of destruction that uh, this truck left as it came through. I'm following the path of how it plowed through the morning traffic here. Uh, it's just after half past eight right now. Uh, probably in the region of about 30 or 40 vehicles. Uh, there's a, I won't show it now, but there's a dead body just lying on that side as well. Another victim. And uh, you can see the, the emergency dealing with this. Now, this accident happened probably about seven, eight minutes ago. Uh, a lot of people around, a lot of victims sort of sitting on the side of the road and waiting for attendance. And uh, you can see the, the um, cars going up there that were also involved in this accident. We're now probably about 200 meters uh, further down. This is obviously getting closer to where the carnage started. And uh, here you can see the, the, the ambulance and policemen are coming through. The morning traffic from the R59 uh, obviously being blocked. This highway is not going to be open for a very, very long time. A couple of patients lying further up now. We're about a half a kilometer up. You can see here where the, where the truck must have obviously still been. There's a patient still lying. There's another patient lying there. Uh, coming through this uh, this is basically where the carnage started and uh, yeah, a very sad day here in uh, in Alberton very sad start to the morning